Okay, so here we have a car, a 5,000 kilogram car, moving 50 meters per second, dragging a uh, spring um, and a hook behind it. The spring has a spring constant of 3,000 newtons per meter, and the hook weighs 25 kilograms. After a while of traveling, the hook gets caught on a, uh, on a little loop, which um, stretches the spring out as the car moves forward and slowly decelerates. Then at the point where the spring is the most stretched out and the car has stopped completely, the spring snaps and transfers its energy to the hook. So now we have to figure out how fast the hook is flying in the opposite direction. Also, when the spring is stretched out, some energy is lost in the form of sound energy, and so the spring only returns 80% of the energy that it took in. We can start off here by figuring out um, how far the spring stretches, so then we can figure out uh, how fast, how that energy is transferred into the hook. So we're going to start off by saying the kinetic energy of the car is equal to the spring formula, and so our final result is x equals around 20.41 meters of, of stretch. And that's how long it takes for the spring to fully absorb the car's energy. So then we want to figure out how that spring energy was transferred into kinetic energy. But we know that the spring lost some energy in the form of sound energy. It was creaking and all rusty and gross and weird. So what we can say is we can set up our equation so we also know it's only 80% efficient. So we also need to multiply this by 0.8 to figure out how much energy the spring is holding to transfer to the kinetic energy of the hook. Um, this ends up being um, equal to 500,000 joules of energy, which equals kinetic energy. And this all equates 200 meters per second. So I'm filming this a day later because I actually think I missed a step here. Um, when the spring and the hook collide, there sh would actually be a conservation of momentum problem in there because it's an elastic collision and the two will go on traveling into the sunset together. Uh, we're gonna start by finding the uh, different momentum. So we have mass one, which is of the hook. It's 20, 25 kilograms and it's traveling at zero meters per second. Um, then we're gonna add that to the spring, which I didn't originally give it a weight, but I'm gonna say it's 50 kilograms, um, and that's traveling 200 meters per second after the snap, and that's all gonna be over the two masses added together, which equals 133.3 approximately meters per second. 